O A F A F A F Hear the word of the Lord Isaiah 55 verse 6 says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found Call ye upon him while he is near Let the wicked Wicked does not mean you are going to kill somebody. Let it twist it. The one that God is going this way, he is going this You know how you twist. Even here, when you twist here, one goes like this, you brew the other one like this, go like this. They are going against each other. That's what it means, twist. Let the twist it. The one that is going against the Father's will, forsake that way. And the unrighteous man, the one that is choosing what God has not chosen, that started from his thoughts. Let him forsake it. And say let them return unto the Lord. And that's what God is doing for us this morning. You'll be amazed at how speedily the power of God will come into your life. When you realign yourself to the will and the purpose and the plans of the Father. And he will have mercy upon him. And to our God for he will abundantly pardon. Verse 8, he said, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than they are, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts your thoughts. That's the gap. And that's why we seek him. And that's where the Holy Ghost helps us to bridge that gap, that distance. Bring his thoughts upon our thoughts. Bring his mind upon our mind. Bring his eyes upon our eyes. Bring his ears upon our ears. It cannot happen any other way except we seek him. Except we seek his face forevermore. It's not something you seek today. You know, we seek it's a continual lifestyle of the believer to seek the Lord on things that we do. And the basis for you moving to do anything, planning to do anything, should be, should be God, his will and his plan. Not your comfort or safety. People move for comfort or safety. Abraham went down to Egypt. You know what happened? It was divine intervention that brought his wife Sarah out. That God had to move supernaturally. And when there was famine in the time of Isaac. He did the same thing in Genesis 26. He also was going to go down. And God said no, don't go down there. Stay in this land and I will bless you. And I pray for somebody this morning that every move you want to move that is contrary to the plan and the purpose of God for you may the word of the Lord that as it came to Isaac, let a stronger form come to you. He says, stay in this land and I will bless you. And he stayed there. And he stayed there. Look at what happened to Naomi. Look at what happened to, 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 to Naomi's husband and his two sons. They carried themselves. They went. And then after they have failed, after they have died, after the, the devil has showed them pepper, after the enemy has rubbed their nose on the ground, what now happened? They now heard that God has visited his people with bread. They left where God was coming to. They went to where God was not, will not be, and will not be committed to. And they failed. May that never be your portion in the name of Jesus. May the, may the witness of the Holy Spirit quicken your heart in the day of your decisions. And may you decide right. May you not be twisted. May you not find yourself moving against God's will when God is going like this. In the name of Jesus. So don't let your comfort, your safety, your experience, your, your knowledge, things that you know, things that you want, things that you crave for, don't let that be what decides and um, what, what, what informs your decision. Let it be what God is doing. Let it be what God is doing. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Father. This is what the Lord has sent me with for you this morning. I'll come your way tomorrow again. And don't forget, read your Bible to know God more.